I decided to do IBD and not to apply to be a team lead because it seems like such a unique experience to an opportunity to have kind of an academic team building experience wrapped around a real life client deliverable. And so it's so applicable to work I've done in the past and the type of work I hope to do in the future, but with the opportunity to create some more space for learning about interpersonal dynamics with various team members and leading a team and inspiring a team and to get feedback along the way. And I thought that was just such a unique opportunity that I could only get here at Haas. And so that was why I applied to be a team lead and, and wanted to do IBD. I think when you sign up for IBD, you're signing up for ambiguity and you need to remind yourself of that when things don't seem clear. I feel like with other Haas classes, you have this mindset that like everything needs to be perfect because this class happens every year and like they should have it down by now. And you just can't have the same mindset towards IBD that you are to your other classes. I think the way I approach IBD is almost more like work where if something's ambiguous, if I were in a job, I would know that it's like my responsibility to handle that ambiguity and like try to provide structure for other people through it. Versus in other classes, I think we just wait for someone else to provide the structure for us. So you have to be a lot more proactive in that. And that's why you probably signed up for this class. So just when things seem hard, remember that that's a part of the package and that's a part of the fun of IBD. To, to potential team leads, it's a lot of work. Uh, be ready for a lot of work. You don't take IBD uh, team lead because you want three units and eventually four units. You take IBD team lead because you're passionate about uh, you know, working in consulting or, or traveling internationally or, or taking on a leadership position. I think one of the hardest parts is we're working, our client is really excited about bringing in design thinking and innovation and uh, agile processes and development and all these buzzwords of the day that I'm excited about too, uh, but it's as new as it is to them as it is to everyone on our team. And so not only are we figuring out what to do together, but we're figuring out what software we need in order to figure out together. We're figuring what the level of rigor we need to be doing our research on at different stages of all of maybe what we'd spend 10 weeks researching on a different thing, we're trying to do it in like quick two weeks and then we like innovate around it and then two weeks and we ideate and none of us have really worked in that context before. And I think they come from a more traditional way of thinking and they're excited to push themselves, but none of us really know what it looks like and what to expect of each other in this, which has been interesting. Like, nothing's gone wrong, but it's been interesting to realize we're both doing something we don't really know how to do. The we have a really unique project and I think every project has some level of ambiguity but I think that none of us felt a real confident in our specific domain expertise for what we're being asked to do. So it's been a real exercise I think just sort of wrapping our heads around the project and you know figuring out how to be productive. You know we don't necessarily know what we're being asked to do or have any expertise there but um, you know understanding that we still have to deliver a good project and kind of figuring out how do we just get to that point. So. We've been really reliant on reaching out to people in the Haas network and alums in our, uh, the city that we're going to, we're going to Guatemala. Um, and the more we reach out to people, we're starting to continually make some steady progress. Uh, but just sort of figuring out how to get the ball rolling and start to make progress, I think has been a big challenge. Basically being there is gonna be a huge part of, of us being successful in our project. I underestimated just how much time and effort we would need to get our feet wet and really understand the space. Um, when I've done consulting projects before, they've often been with managers who already have a knowledge of the industry or the organization. And so since I'm effectively the manager, I don't know anything about startups, I don't know anything about digital marketing, I don't really know about Brazil, I had to start from scratch, which meant that my team did as well. And I underestimated uh, how long that would take us to really be able to have intelligent conversations with a client about that. It means that our deliverable is going to be a lot better because we'll have more knowledge, but um, that surprised me that it would take so long to really get a good grasp on what's happening. Right. I think that we've learned a lot about how important it is for a client to um, understand the hospital's positioning in the region. I think that's something that's become more and more emphasized as we've gone along. And I think in that sense, you know, we'll need to, in India, really understand what the community thinks of the hospital, what the perceptions are. I think that can be quite daunting because we 
have never been to this region of the country. Some of us have not been to this country before. So very quick, quickly we'll have to understand um, the perceptions of this hospital um, to a level that potentially is even deeper than what the staff currently know. Um, but I, the flip side of that, I think, is because we have business backgrounds and we have our, our training and our, our skill set that we've developed throughout the year, that we can bring this unique skill set to the hospital, um, our marketing strategies, positioning strategies, pricing strategies, and these things I think the hospital probably struggles with in some level. And being able to, to bring that perspective in, demonstrate how much further they can go with these strategies, I think will be really powerful. I'd say on the one side, you know, on the one side of the coin, it's there's less pressure maybe because we know that they've been thinking about this, but on the flip side of the coin, which I think is the one that we're we tend to look at a little bit more is that um, it's definitely a pressure-filled project because they, you know, it's, it's a question that is so integral to Ford's success in the future in the next three, five, seven, ten years. And so uh, they want our, our, you know, real recommendations and put in real work for this to actually answer the question. And so um, while on one side we know that, you know, Ford is actually thinking about this and it's not just us working on it, it is us being asked for real work and real recommendations on this. And so uh, it's certainly something that, uh, you know, is, is work that we've put in a lot on here and something that we know when, we're, when we go there, we're gonna be, you know, put under the, the microscope a little bit in terms of delivering uh, on these project deliverables. Being there um, and being able to dedicate all of our time towards the project. Um, the last few months or few weeks of school are incredibly busy, so it will be really nice to be there and only have the IBD project to focus on. Um, from a more personal perspective, I'm really looking forward to trying out being a tourist in Uganda. We feel that that's an important part of us being able to make those um, legitimate and informed recommendations on how the country should be changing its tourism strategy or its approach to tourism. So our team is planning on doing at least two different weekend trips around Uganda to experience what it's like to be a tourist there firsthand. For myself, over the next couple weeks, um, stay sane. Don't, don't, uh, don't get too stressed. That's certainly our goal before we leave. I think, um, you know, I'm really focused on just producing producing something that's worthwhile for our client in the end. That's really important to me. Um, not from just a personal perspective, but as a representative of the school. So, um, very focused on the specific output, but I think once we get in country, I'm very focused on um, providing a great experience for my teammates and making sure that they get what they want out of this experience, whether it's the travel, the cultural experience, the professional experience. Um, I want to make sure that my team actually uh, checks off what they feel they had on their list at the beginning of the semester. Uh, so far this has been a very interesting ride. Um, we had uh, a lot of fun getting to know each other, uh, getting uh, to know our cultures, and I think uh, together with all the different backgrounds of all of us, we create a great team and uh, that's been a self-discovery uh, experience that I have really enjoyed. Yeah, I think it's important to remember that uh, you know, IBD teams, just like all of Haas, are going to bring people together who are very you know, bright and ambitious and have very unique backgrounds and experiences. And uh, it's really important that uh, you recognize that some people um, may have different ways of working or different ideas and it's so important to provide the culture and environment and team where everybody feels willing and able to bring their ideas forward and whether that's providing an opportunity for people to speak up or even asking people who you feel haven't been um, speaking up as much, um, encouraging them to, to voice their opinions, and that can all bring together really the, the best of, of everybody's experiences and provide this uh, team that's really well-rounded and that brings together their own backgrounds and experiences. Um, our team and how well we mesh together and how well we complement each other 
I don't know if that was our team leads, like how well she knew us all and how well she knew like how well we fit together. But yeah, I'm just like blown away by it. And, and you know, when we were talking about how to split up tasks and everything, like we all have different skill sets. We all work really well together. We're all direct enough in terms of communication. We all have the same communication style. It's like just working out, I think, really well. Yeah, I, t I totally echo that. Um, I think that uh, in the beginning we were just four random people <laughs> um, and you know like we knew each other to varying degrees but it's just been really surprising how well the team has been working together and I have said this to the team like I wish I could take this team and just do a bunch of yeah. different things with the yeah. same team because the people on it have been really awesome. Great. I'm so excited to get to Shanghai. We've been talking about all the things we're gonna do. Um, I just, I'm excited to go to the office, see how, what it's like. I'm really interested in experiencing the Shanghai startup life. I think that's gonna be really cool and different. And I just can't wait to start just hanging out with all my team in our Airbnb and just the things that we're gonna experience. I'm very, very looking forward to that. We leave next Friday, like it's almost here. So, and, and yeah, we've been planning, um, you know, what we're going to do in the afternoon is what we want to explore together. So I think that, you know, a lot of teams are talking about how it's going to be to be always together for three weeks. And I'm just looking forward to it, to every minute that we spend together. So I'm just really looking forward to sharing it with my team. We're going to love each other, Danner. Yes. This is, this is why I'm very optimistic. <laughs> I'm very optimistic that we're, uh, that we're going to have a, a great time together in, uh, in China. I think IBD was my most, it was definitely my most valuable experience that I've done at Haas, but it was also incredibly emotionally and mentally draining. I think I learned a ton from doing this, from peer management, from working on an ambiguous project, to having people who are less comfortable with ambiguity and taking risks than I am. I'd never really had to lead people in that way before, and I learned a lot. Coming back here, I think a couple of things that are on my mind are one, I hope that my IBD teammates can see me also as a friend now that I'm no longer their leader and try to understand how I can, if I work with them again, for instance, I'm working with another teammate now on another project and say, okay, how can I be mindful of the experiences that we've had together and sort of restart some of those expectations that we had or tweak my leadership style to really learn and engage with them on a more deeper level. I'm surprised at about two things. One, how much have we been able to accomplish in the little time that we've had together? Basically, our team members joined right before spring break and it's been about, I think, less than a month after spring break and we've really advanced a lot in the, in the past couple of weeks. And like I said yesterday, the client actually commented that their team is already starting to look at some of the recommendations we provided. Um, at the same time, I'm surprised that um, our recommendations, how seriously our client is taking our recommendations. Uh, these are things that are being uh, spoken with the CEO and like C-suite uh, board members. And um, it, it's like you feel like you're really having an impact on what this organization is gonna do in the next couple of years. So it, it's very exciting and, and surprisingly, I, I didn't, expect that they would trust uh, MBA students. <laughs> um, they were really pleased and surprised by how tangible it seemed. They're like, we've worked with consulting firms in the past who've come on and they present to us these huge ideas that, you know, sound great, but how do we really get from point A to Z? And what you guys did was really get us from like point A to, I don't know, like D or F. Like, we weren't thinking so long term, we were thinking of things they could actually start doing on the ground, which is what they asked us to do with short term and long term goals. Feel great about the deliverable that we, we gave at the end of the day. And it when you look through the presentation, I mean, it's amazing. Like you have four people who've never really worked together, come together and build something that's, you know, pretty tight deliverable with a great storyline, with a great, um, you know, look at me, I'm, I'm being super biased saying like how great our work was. But I really feel like had I been on the client side and I asked, and I was paying for, or at least the company was paying for this thing that at the end of the day, what I get, I mean, I would say that that was, that was, that was great.
it went well. I mean, we spent the first week on literally a tropical remote island with very limited, I'd say, dare no Wi-Fi and spotty electricity and running water. So you get to know your teammates really well, maybe a little too well. Uh, and towards the end, there was a bit of island fever, but I definitely feel like I got a really strong bond with my teammates. And I'd say it's safe to say that we're gonna be friends for a very long time after this experience. Uh, I had never been to Africa, so didn't really know what to expect. Heard a lot of great things. Um, Kenya was amazing. I remember landing and everything was green and it was so beautiful. Um, and it was definitely a different type of system than ours. Like there were a lot more dirt roads than, well, they were both dirt and paved roads, but you had cows walking on the freeway. Um, so it was just cool to see an entire different type of economy. Um, and, de and developing a uh, nation and Nairobi specifically has been growing a lot in East Africa and has been do doing really well. So um, it was great to meet the people who are there and really entrepreneurial focused and see the work that PSI was doing on the ground, contrast that to you know, who we met when we went out for dinners and what we saw when we left um, Nairobi on the weekends to go to um, other neighboring cities. We did a safari one weekend. If you get the chance, jump on it. Uh, I know there are other travel classes within Haas that are really sought after. I think IBD is right up there. Great experience, honestly. Like, I think um, that was probably the best class I've had at Berkeley by far.